Welcome back. I drew some fun cards, so let's play this game together, shall we? So I already completed stage one, maybe even stage two, I don't remember. But then we got all these cool looking cards, they're all blue and yellow and stuff, and each of these have some effect that has something to do with giving us star coins, and star coins are the economy for this game. So yeah, let's um, have at it. Um, the idea that most people have, or many people have when playing this, is that we want to get the 13 ended weight. You know which one. Uh, if you don't, you'll see it momentarily, and then you'll know. Um, that's the theory anyway. Note, um, since release of this game, um, they have patched the game. So it's no longer imperative to um, get the 13 ended weight first. It's totally fine to approach things this way. Okay, I'm waiting for a 9 pin. So we'll get the 9 pin, hopefully. Um, I don't know whether the patch is actually a fix per se because this game doesn't entirely follow the rules of Mahjong anyway. Um, okay, well I seem to be getting somewhat unlucky with drawing tiles here. This might be the end of the run. We got, got one chance to get a nine. That's not a nine. That's the end of the run. All right. So that's how this game typically ends. Um, unfortunately, we had a lot of really good cards, but it was not to be. Oh, let's try again. Okay, none of these say anything about um, star coins. So I'm just going to reset the run here. We need star coins. We need a card that does something star coin related. So be nice if we didn't have to do that. Uh, particular. Okay, this one's kind of fun, but yeah, let's, let's go until we get something that says star point on it. Because we don't want to get like a half hour to an hour into the run, only to have the run die because we ran out of star points. Or we suffer ill effects from having not enough coins. Um, I think this game was originally supposed to be something deeply strategic, and since the strat got found, um, it's now, yeah, so you see I was able to skip sumo if I desire. And this allows me to win again and again and again. Um, but Treasure Chest also doubles my level reward from winning. It's not as good as the other cards we used to have a second ago. We had an amazing powerhouse combo of cards, but this'll do. It occurs to me now there's probably a really loud echo, so I'll quiet my speaker a touch. Uh, let's continue. All right, none of these are what I'm looking for, but that one's blue, so we'll take it. This one's kind of cool. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, okay. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> that one's orange, so we'll take it and we'll probably sell it. VIP is amazing. We'll take that. Alright, let's sell this, because I don't need it. Can we get some more good cards? Alright, we can sell this for six. Uh, upgrade an existing card, even though that doesn't help us with getting more coins. This also doesn't help us get more coins. Um... 
This is pretty cool, but it does not help us get coins. So I'm down to 16 star coins. Let's take this. Oh, wow. Well then, um... Sure. Oh, right, we have to sell some. Okay, we don't need that one. We'll refresh the lot for two. We don't need this either. Hey, right. when clearing, make one random tile become soul tile. Oh. Okay, actually that's kind of useful for reasons we might see, but probably won't see. Um, yeah, piggy bank's kind of nice. Uh, the one with the Ichihima on it is also pretty good. I probably should have taken that instead. Um, okay, we'll sell the recycler. Because we don't need it. Um, likewise, don't need this. Uh, how are we doing coins? We've got 18 star coins remaining. I don't need this card. Um, oh man. Mahjong Soul Shrine is a really nice card, but not super useful here. Um, so we'll just sell it off. If it's meant to be, it'll come back. That's the card I was fishing for. Now we got 24 stars left. Spend some here. Um, hmm. Got nine left? What do we do with nine? No, we just keep spending here. There we go. Good enough. Okay, and then we exchange, so we see a 1 in the top row, so we'll cut this 1. Um, I don't want to spend all day in the shop, because I might lose the game pretty quickly. Um, Okay, we need a red dragon. Red dragon. I don't know why I'm looking so intently at the screen. If I were to simply listen, that was my cue that we got what we need. And there we go. Wait, is that for each win that this triggers? A random tile becomes a soul tile? For plus one Han? I think there's another card that does something with soul tiles, um, making the game easier to win. I should have sold the expedition and picked up some other cards. Anyway, we got star coins. Um... Star coins are kind of cool. We got 62 of them. Yeah. I'm not even looking at the bottom row, so I'm just going to sell this off. And then we're going to sell off the card we just bought, because it's no good. Take this instead. I don't need that one. Let's take this instead. So we buy it for 5 and sell it for 6. Sell this for 6. Buy that for 5. I probably don't need this, but... Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. And then let's pump up our exchanges. Um, open tiles are pretty useful too. Let's go. Okay, we see south in the top row. Um, oh, we need this. <laughs> Hold on to that one. Um, yeah, we don't need the south because we see a south coming up soon. I 
Okay, we're getting close. Um, yeah, we need the south. And when I get the south wind, I need to discard the green dragon. There we go. And then let the game resolve itself from here. Easy. Alright, so yeah, it'd be nice to get more soul tiles, because I think there is something that accumulates star coins based on soul tiles. I just don't have that in front of me here. Alright. So, 82. Um, wait, what's this? Open tile count plus 3. We don't need that. Um, sure. Oh yeah, we can sell this. Reveal one Dora for every 10 tiles drawn. I think we can do better. Um... I think we can do better than that, too. Okay. A plus one Han is not super necessary. However, I could sell this for six. And then reobtain it. Um, Alright, this one's pretty cool. So, wait... Uh, yeah, we'll trigger that one twice. Or no, we'll trigger this one twice to get more coins. For two stars multiplied. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Alright, we'll hold on to this hand for a bit. I've got 84 star points remaining. Um, yeah, let's open this and that and this and keep going. Got a 9, and an east to east to south. We don't need this then. Oh, we don't need the 9 either. Um, technically, we don't need the south. Well, we did not draw as well as we could have. I have seen better draws, but uh, we can't rule out victory just yet. Oh, this is not looking good. Okay, it said Tenpai there for a second. So now what we need is the 9. Can we get the 9? Not that 9. Ah, sigh. At this point, take what we can get. If we can get anything. Good enough. We still went way past the goal. Alright. Good enough. Um, this combination of cards is fine. So, uh, we got 40 remaining. Um, that's enough to upgrade this twice. Let's go. Okay, we see west, south, green in the top row. I don't have any of those.
There's our west. There's a south. Okay, let's take it. So I think this card says that if I win with a tile, um, it becomes a soul tile. So I'm not sure which win tiles. Like, are these door indicators or are those door tiles here? I don't know. But something could become a soul tile, potentially. Alright, green dragon. Okay, so those are indicators in the upper left. Cool. Let's keep going. Um, I could get more... I could get another tile exchange. And that's at the largest discount that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, oops. Alright, east, red. That's all we know. Uh, east and red. Now, I'm sure some other folks would have uh, started over by now, but this is an okay run. Okay, we drew the red prematurely. We don't need it just yet, but... Okay, so I need a west. And I'll hear the sumo noise, or the alert call alert, rather, um, when we're in Tenpai. Or rather, when we... What's one better than Tenpai? I guess one better than Tenpai is a winning hand. But... Yeah, Doggy's Treasure, the leftmost card, even upgraded. Oh, I'm sorry, that gave us 20 stars. I was about to say it's kind of useless, but it's not. Um, Alright, so 80 stars. Um, Let's take some more open tiles, because that'll give us key insights as to what, how to play the level. Let's see, south, red, okay, we can chuck the red. Yeah, it would be interesting to see a version of this game that was not so susceptible to RNG. Or that were more balanced, something, say, as balanced as FTL. That would be cool. Wait, is that really the only... So I'm just needing a red? Yeah? Okay. Um, well, we do see a red coming up. Yeah, I guess so. Who would have known? There we go. Good enough. Yeah, they patched it. Um, that used to be a problem. Or rather, that used to be a user experience concern. I think it was more interesting the way they used to have it, but, you know, if it's the rule now, we'll play with the current rule. Why not? Um, uh, 
Yeah, I thought it was a feature. Maybe somebody thought it was a bug. I don't know. Alright, so 104 stars. Yeah, let's just keep going. I could go fetching for cards and spend all day in the shop. But that's no fun. Alright, we don't have a whole bunch of tiles exposed in the top row. Um, so let's just ignore the board. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't done the math. I'm just happy to win the game. But, um... I'm sure there's math behind it somehow. I think, well, at least what I've heard, is that getting star coins is useful. Um... I guess, at least in part, so I don't fail the run. Um, so, yeah, I've got uh, this treasure package thing, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, once I've, like, yeah... I don't know. I'm really not sure. I'll open some more tiles, and I got 16 stars remaining, and whatever, I'll just keep playing. I don't want to spend all day in the shop. I've done that several times already. Not literally all day, but it's quite the chore, isn't it? Uh, we got a 9 coming up in the first few tiles, so we don't need that 9. I drew another 9. Whatever. Okay, this is looking better. 1911. These all look unique to me, except for that 5. Wow. You get bored of the game mode. I don't blame you. And honestly, there's only one player that I could eclipse on the leaderboard at this point. Oh, that's interesting. Well, here, this combination of all these cards... Um, like, I've got a card that gives me wins for, um, gives me a bonus for every win after the second in terms of star coins. And I've got this counting twice. So, like, I'm getting at least 10 stars per level. I haven't counted. We're having this pair of cards next to each other. Um, if I were to win at the beginning, as soon as you surpass the goal, um, yeah. Something like that. I want to win as many times as possible so I can get... Um, I could swear that I was supposed to get stars from this combination of cards. I get 10 for beating the level, 20 for Doggy's Treasure Plus... I don't know what Doggy's Tre- well, no, Doggy's Treasure Plus is a single card. But this is supposed to give me two additional star coins per win. Um, I don't know if it's actually doing that or not. Um, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay, it's just not noted. Thanks. Yeah, I was starting to doubt how this stuff works. Ah. 
so I want more coins so I can max out tile exchanges and open tiles. Um, I'm going to go diving for the, the other VIP card. Um, where's the other VIP card or something else good? Oh, I've already got it upgraded. Okay, I guess I'm trying to get something else upgraded. I'll spend a little bit on one round of cards. Um, This didn't work out how I thought. Alright, so I'm going to sell this, because I don't need plus one Han. But I do need six star coins. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was impulsive. Um. Let's see. Anything in the top row? Not that I see. Oh, we need that one. Guess I don't need this. Okay, we got the red. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Drew another one. Okay, then. Now we need the uh, one mon. Yeah, that'd be fun. Hmm. Okay, we got the one mon. Victory is mine. Sadly, this game's terms don't really allow you to um, use that kind of cookie clicker tool thing here. It'd be fun if they'd let you script something and then you could theory craft this all day. Um, they just don't allow it. Alright, so 185 stars. Um, Alright, let's keep going. Mm. That sounds brutal. Um, yeah, I guess after I lose this, or after I fail to... Um, whatever. After this run ends, um, I could show off the Leech's uh, prediction bot thing. All right, so what I need is the west. Where's the duplicate in this? Oh, there it is. It's right there. There we go. Easy. Okay, I'll refill my water.
That's still not done yet. Got 121 stars. Well, let's open some more tiles. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Um, can check the one also. Okay, now I just keep clicking until I hear the sumo noise. Or until I hear the call button noise. Then we find the duplicate tile and discard it. Alright, and since I cleared the level goal, the game automatically exposes the remaining tiles, etc. Alright, so I won with south, so south becomes a door tile. If I win with nine, then not... Well, I'm sorry, this... No. Forgot this is not Sanma. This game would be more fun with the Sanma deck. It'd be way too easy. Um, it'd still be pretty funny. Okay, yeah, making everything soul tiles is just kind of a boondoggle that doesn't matter. Um, oh, it is. Okay. You'd think I would notice. Um, you'd hope that I would notice. Um, all right, I read the rules aloud on one of my live streams, and there it did explain that, yeah, we are playing with the Sanma tiles. I knew that. Okay. I can just keep my cursor here for a while. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I didn't switch aggressively enough this time. Intent by. Well, I can see the remaining tiles here, so the 13 ended weight is profitable, but only slightly. Everything's the same color. Uh, how am I supposed to figure anything out this way? <laughs> yeah, rare events do happen.
Hmm. I was a bit amused. There was a silly skit that took place on Hollow Live the other day. Um, where, like, there's this huge immersi immersive world um, that all these characters are supposed to explore and learn things about themselves and learn things about each other. It's this big MMO. Um, but then one of the players decided to come up with their own lore and say that, hey, you know, uh, we're going to support a local library. And the way we're going to support a local library is by selling lottery tickets. And then like 10% of the proceeds of the lottery are going to go support the local library. Uh, of course, like, all the players are comedians. They're all getting in on the act in various ways. So it was pretty funny. Um, then there's something in the fine print that says, oh, by the way, um, the lottery provider doesn't have insurance, um, but also... Um, lottery provider is going to take a cut uh, because they can. So, and one of the comedians joked, well, that's not fair. Like, what if people don't read the fine print? And the response is, well, that's why we're supporting a local library to promote literacy. Like, oh, okay. Wonderful. Uh, the thing that's even funnier to me about the whole uh, gambling for charity thing, at least in that context where it's all fictional, it's like I've independently had this concept. I don't know if I've written it down anywhere, but like, it's a funny narrative idea. That, um, you know, somebody other than the government is going to support gambling for charity. Uh, yeah, that's they can't read it. Yeah, it's, that's when it starts to get, um, that's when it shifts away. Uh, I guess that is dark humor. Not enough people peddle in dark humor. Or not many. Those who do um, sometimes are just overly edgy about it for no reason. And it gets kind of boring. Um, but there is a fine balance of something like that. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't need to convert all these to soul tiles. It's not going to help me at all. I guess I'm making it a side quest. Alright, but we've succeeded at the main challenge. At this point, um, we'll pivot. Why not? So... We don't need this. Um, we'll hold on to that for a second until we realize we don't need it either. Um... Yeah, that's kind of nice. All right. Um, oh, there we've got a couple that pair together decently here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just keep going. You can select up to three tiles when exchanging. That's one of the level effects. Um, it's kind of brutal.
One second. Um. Mm. Okay, so we'll wait until we have sumo available. And then dodge sumo. Yeah, that'd be funny. Hey, we got it. Now we have to hope with it. Well, we see a one pin face up. Alright, we cleared the 100,000 gold target thing. So, yay us. I guess this one to expose more Dora tiles is not super useful. Um, because we have tons of Dora tiles exposed anyway. 150. Alright. Um. Do, 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 do. I'll sell this. Don't need that. Oh, this one's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll sell this. Buy that one. Let's go. <laughs> upper number of door indicators is fixed at three. All right, all right. This game is noting that I'm having too much fun. Um, hmm. Okay, that looks pretty balanced. Okay, I can see a 9 pin coming up, but one showed up before that. Looks like I might not get all soul tiles after all. Hmm. I guess I could try again next stage. Okay, we got 58 stars. Now it lets me max out tile exchanges. Uh, 283 though. Um, yeah, I'll max this out, even though it looks kind of dumb to do it. Let's go. Um, first win is worth zero points. I don't see anything perfect in the top row. Okay.
Okay, I'm in Tenpai. Oh, what? Okay, well that looks like the correct shape. That looks... yeah, that's it. Alright, so we'll just get Blessing of Heaven. Woo, or Blessing of Earth, sure. Alright, we got a few points this round. That's not terrible. Hmm. Since I'm capturing a video, I'm not going to tab out. Um. Um. Yeah. That's a lot of Dora. 50 Han. Wouldn't want to have to pay up for that. Okay, so now I've got 261 stars because I have reward the capable activating twice or whatever. Um, maxing out. That looks sensible. Um, I'm going to go betting that I'm going to get something useful out of one of these packs, so... Um... Jeez. Feels bad to get rid of any of these. Um... I guess we'll get rid of this. I'm just go fetching more stuff. Okay, we'll take the blue card. We got the shrine. All right. We have four fewer talismans when that ends up being amazing. <laughs> Plus one star coin for every two remaining tiles. For each Dora or Soul tile, get plus one star coin. Um, uh, yeah, Yakuman Master now would be fantastic. Maybe I should just keep... I don't know. I do not know. Um. Alright, we're going to toss this. Um, because it's no longer necessary. It was never necessary to begin with, but it was cool. Um, mm, see, this is amazing. Um, mm, yeah, Under the Sea is a nice one. Jeez. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. I have to sell something. We're going to sell the piggy bank. Because it's the least profitable of those star collector things. Yeah. Or like EX3 or EX4 or something. Uh, these cards are not amazing. Mahjong Soul Shrine Plus. I'll take that. Um. <laughs> okay, we don't need this. We'll s continue selling and burning packs. Um. Until we can get some more amazing cards. Gift Bag Plus is kind of cool. 
What? <laughs> Can I not play the game? Wait, oh, I keep discarding continuous sprint. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for it and discard it. Um, continuous sprint. It's a blue card. If I remember correctly. There's the Akumon Master. Um... Yeah, so now I have to let another one of these economy cards go. Um, probably this one. Yeah. So I'm going to keep fishing for more cards. I'll sell this for that. Which draws a profit of two. Sell this for that, which draws a profit of two. Refresh for three. Sell this, or open this, sell it, whatever it is. Um. And we'll need continuous sprint. That's not continuous sprint. Hmm. There's continuous sprint. If you win four times, this gets times one Han. All right. So I've got enough star coins that eventually, well, no, let's, let's get enough star coins to clear the Dora indicator thing. Not that it's going to help a tremendous deal. Um, but it wouldn't hurt either. Okay, I'm going to switch tabs, despite it ruining the VOD. Um, you also bring the Underground Expedition to let you see more tiles and extra exchange. But ideally, you need to get Yakima Master and Continuous during the early... Le yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, ideally, you would have played this game completely differently than I'm playing it, actually. But that's okay. Um... Yeah, if you're trying to completely max out the score, there's plenty of people doing that. Um, and yeah, I'm not playing it right, but it's okay. Um, yeah, and I think somebody even made a PDF and I've downloaded it, skimmed it over and completely forgot what the contents of it were. But I think what you're saying is also what that document indicates. Because, um, yeah, this game does have a dominant strategy. I don't know. 
I just know looking at the leaderboard, I have, like, there's only one person I could potentially uh, overshoot from the friends list. And we could take a minute, um, not too long from now, and see who that is. Yeah, 3,000 Han is not too... Oh, I should even... I'm not even paying attention to the ordering of the talismans. Um, I did something stupid with... You can actually reorder these. Um, so, like right now, okay, that's that's good because I'm trying to max out coins. Um, yeah, so now all these are maxed out and coins are only useful to purchase talisman packs. Um, so I actually don't need to completely max out coins anymore. Um, so, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to sell this. Uh, duplicating that doesn't make a difference. Let's see. But yeah, we'll see if we can hit some amazing cards, and then, if so, reduce my hand down a bit. Um, I have way too many coins for however much time I'm going to spend in the shops. So I'll actually sell... Uh, not yet. Not yet. We don't need this. Don't need this. Yeah. No, there's no way. I can't catch anyone else. Um. Okay, we're gonna s <laughs> sell that to purchase it again. Um. Um. Yeah. Uh, the plus one upgrade, I guess, might be worth it. I don't know. I still think my, holding onto my star coins a bit longer is still a greater return on investment. For all the, as long as I got the VIP upgrade. Okay, so here we go. This one's worth upgrading. Um. I don't know why this is just 19, huh? Um, but yeah, we'll sell off the VIP card momentarily. But not before we spend way too long in the shop. Okay. Okay, one more time is a nice one, actually. Um, we're getting close to my final hand. I haven't completely decided. Oh, okay. I think I'm selling the VIP now. Um, yeah, alright. I'm tired of spending time in the shop. Let's see. All Yaku with three Han or less. Well, we're not going to hit very many of those. Wait. 
Alright, let's see what we draw next. And possibly I should just sell off some cards here until I'm down to five. Um... How many do I have left? 93 star coins. Okay. Continue your sprint plus. Um. Oh, now I see why I need that early. Okay. The wording on the cards. There's too many cards. But now I see that I need it earlier than I had it. Alright, whatever. My bad. Um. Alright. Um. Hmm. Let's keep drawing cards. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna purchase VIP again. If only so I could sell it again. Um. Hmm. Wait, we don't sell it automatically. First check the shop. See if there's something better. Or rather, I just confused myself, that's all. Um. Oh. Okay. A bounty Hunter's not a bad one. Bounty Hunter's kind of nice. Alright, so... Still haven't decided. Hmm. I don't need this. Why do I have this instead of VIP? <sighs> um, yeah, continuous sprint here is something I needed to get way earlier. Um... It's still valuable, but not much. So we've got Soul Shrine Plus. Okay, I think I know my final hand shape. So I'm going to actually make use of Soul Shrine Plus, which is going to make use of the Bounty Hunter. Um, so that's going to multiply uh, the point total by four and do it twice because we have this here. This is going to multiply by 16. Plus we have this gift bag, which is going to be awesome. We don't need this. We don't need continuous sprint. And we actually don't need one more time. Um, even though it potentially could be amazing, it often won't be. Um, so... Yeah, we don't need this, we don't need that, and we actually don't, since I've misplayed this game, I don't need this. And this takes me down to five cards and allows me to use awesome stuff. Um, so then we'll move this to the left to increase the points before multiplying by four. Um... So that'll be cool. Oh, but f first, um, when winning, if Yakuman's completed, this gets time. What? <laughs> Can I play the game? Put Shadow Clone on the far left. Shrine after it. That's I. Is that how that works? Is that really how that works? I guess we'll find out. Um, copies the effect of the... Okay, yeah. 
That sounds right, actually. And that, yeah, that's actually what I should have been doing this and other games. Oops. All right. That sounds good. Yeah, let's run it. Thank you. It's a long game, and it really tests my patience. And now we're just going to lose due to RNG, but it's funny. Um, I'm only allowed to switch three at a time here. Um, but this kind of reminds me of wa watching speedrunners play um, the original Mario 3. Um, or some other old retro games. And at even some point watching them play Banjo Kazooie. And they get to RNG heavy elements. And just accept that there's nothing they can do to control uh, the outcome. Um, and so. There's this sense of, yeah, it's pretty dramatic, but also, if you lose, well, that's just part of the game. <laughs> um, there we go. Thank you. I should watch this trigger. Yeah, it does trigger everything at least twice. Sweet! Yeah, I was going to focus on Yakuman Master is the card that I have to make sure triggers as much as possible. Um, so, I now see how this um, reaches into the exponents. Of course, I should have had continuous sprint way earlier. And could have played this whole game pretty differently, honestly. Alright, star coins are useless. Everything's useless. Let's go. I mean, we could get an upgrade card, and I should fish for those, but also, hmm, we'll do it later. Maybe. Probably not. Um, um, Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, we need a nine. There's the nine. Sumo. Yeah, I should go fishing for upgrade cards, even though the upgrades aren't that extraordinary. But also, I should save some coins for EX10. That's really the strat. This, like, before we're about to play the final stage, then dump all my coins. That's EX6. Now wait, this is based on spent this round. Spent on purchasing and upgrading talismans this round. Um, I didn't spend... well, okay. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go fishing for upgrades. Actually, I no longer profit from buying all these cheap packs and reselling them. So just go hit the big packs.
There, that's cool. Uh, let's save some coins for later, I guess. I don't know. There's only one other card we can upgrade. And the odds of drawing it are not super great. Let's just refresh. Alright, whatever. Let's go on to the next stage. Open tiles are limited to three. Alright, so we see a 1 in the top row. And that's our only clue. Thankfully, we got really lucky with tile exchanges. But we could still lose. to north. Come on north. Now we see in the Dora indicator stack there's already two norths showing. Meaning there's two north tiles remaining. So, okay. Odds are not completely in my favor, but you know, we'll take it. Wow! We almost went the entire row three without a single winning tile. That's pretty cool. Alright. keep fishing for that upgraded I I think the upgrade of that is plus one on but otherwise do what it already does um, We don't mess up and sell something now. Okay, whatever. We'll just go on to the next level. We see a 1 and a West. I've been fortunate with these exchanges. Okay. 
wait, this one. Right, realistically, I'm not getting that. Um, yeah, I'm not getting the one pin early. Or one bamboo early. Okay. And sumo. Puts us at E14. And we'll save some coins, so... Um, we're prepared for the final stage to completely max out that Gift Talisman card. E15. going. Wait, be careful. Okay, we have a one showing in the top row, some nines in the second row, red in the second row. Things get desperate, we'll exchange the red, but things don't look desperate. Okay, that's good. There's Tenpai. And Sumo. There's E15. I wonder at which point they decided to just adjust the leaderboard to allow these crazy scores, rather than changing how the rules of the game are implemented. I wonder if, um, yeah, I, it just is crazy to me that they didn't rebalance the game, but I guess they didn't have time at the moment. All right. And finally, uh, since we're approaching EX10, um, have some fun opening some packs, see what's inside. Um, okay. <laughs> Sell this so I can obtain it again. Sell it again. Oh, wow. There's Bounty Hunter Plus. Bounty Hunter Plus was the card I was looking for. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get anything else I'm interested in. So the last task is to spend as much as we can. Um, which might involve a fair bit of selling. Even this could be micro-optimized a bit. Um, I'm just going to stay away from the yellow packages now that I've got an amazing hand. OK, 
Okay, whatever. I can't open that. Okay. Okay, and we've spent as much as we can spend. Um I mean I could refresh, but that's not gonna do anything to help. Um, scoring. And now we're out. And here we are at EX10. <laughs> you can exchange up to three when you exchange tiles. Okay. The real test is with us. Okay, don't need these. And Okay, we need a north, and nothing other than a north will suffice here. The entire game has come down to can I draw a north wind? Maybe I can't. This sure would be an epic way to go out. There it is. Okay, E15. Yeah, whether the scoring is done accurately or not, I don't know. But we've maxed out as far as I can get score-wise with this. So, yeah, there we go. Mission accomplished. Challenge successful. We acquired 125 talismans and won 283 times. Um, yeah, thanks for the guidance, even though I was not super receptive to it. Um, it's good that I was able to put it into practice anyway. Hope people enjoyed watching this. And see you next time.